Hello, everyone, and greetings from the Department of Labor. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in Las Vegas for your 29th Constitutional Convention, but you are in great hands with President Lankford. Thank you, Mike, for outstanding leadership. I also want to give a shout out to Art Frias for his great work in Southern California as president of Local 132. My friendship with your union goes back to before I was elected to Congress. I know President Obama is also very grateful for your support ever since you were the second union to endorse him back in 2008. We appreciate you. We know the work you're doing is hard and it's dangerous. You put your lives on the line every day. From the attacks of September 11th to the floods and tornadoes that ravaged local communities this year, you're truly America's first responders. I want to take this opportunity to pay my respects to the family and friends of Mark Keeley of Local 686 and to his five crew members who suffered injuries in the devastating gas leak in Philadelphia. At just 19 years old, Mark was taken from us far too soon. My heart goes out to the entire local 686 family. Thank you for being there for each other during this awful tragedy. As Labor Secretary, I remain committed to a strong and active OSHA and to doing everything in my power to make your jobs as safe as humanly possible. One worker death or one worker injury is one too many. The work of your union today is more important than ever. Brothers and sisters, we are in the fight of our lives. I was raised in a proud union family, and I know firsthand the benefits that labor unions provide. But today the movement faces its greatest threat in generations. We're fighting not only to preserve living wages, good benefits, and safe working conditions, but also for some of our most hard-won rights. The fact is our opponents are waging attacks on working people at exactly the wrong time. They say that given the state of the economy, we can't afford unions right now. I say they got it backwards. President Obama feels the same way. We need a strong labor movement now more than ever. And that's why I continue to speak out against those who want to take America backward, not forward, by ending collective bargaining. Using the fiscal crisis to deny workers a seat at the table is just plain wrong. Elected officials should be spending their time creating jobs, not eroding your rights. We're still facing a fragile recovery, so we have to keep working together. Your support for the President's green jobs agenda has been so important. By investing in things like wind farms, solar energy, and nuclear power, we will protect our environment and create tens of thousands of new jobs. Together, we have to unite people around the policies that get America's back to work. Make no mistake, the challenges that lie ahead are great. But we've climbed mountains together before and we'll do it again. So thanks again for all that you do. I'm proud to have you in my corner. Please keep up the great work and have a wonderful convention.